Okay, I want to show you guys something. Here is my dirty kitchen sink. This is just a little bit of coconut oil soap that I made. It's 100% coconut oil soap, liquid soap. Now watch what happens. Just a little bit. And this is actually too much. Rinse my little spoon out. There. Oops. And I wanted to rinse out. This is just a little bit of the coconut oil soap. And my sink was really dirty. <laughs> just, you know, really not. Just, you know, just like a kitchen sink is. With, you know, food, grease, and yucky crap. Now, this is... You can use my soap for anything. As long as it doesn't have a high super fat content, you can use my soap for anything. So you run out of it for one thing, you can use it for another. If you run out of it for one thing, you can use it for another. And that's just the nature of true homemade soap. There. And I just used a little bit. It's not totally clean. It does a quick, a good quickie job. I'm sorry. Now, I also, I want to show you something else. In the clean part of my sink. I want to show you how I wash my hands. How my soap bubbles up. And I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but... You know, I'm having... I don't know how to... I'm going to take my hands away. You know, I'm thinking maybe I'll just use the tripod I bought. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright. This is a demo of my soap. Working. I just want to show you the lather and the bubbles. This is Happy Birth Musk. This is Happy Birth Musk. Musk thistle infused oil soap. It has grapeseed, olive oil, shea. It's a shampoo bar, but I want to show you how it lathers. Now this doesn't have any um, artificial ingredients in it outside of the fragrance, but it also has at the same time a lot of essential oils in it. Good for your hair essential oils. And most people don't like the smell of all natural products, so that's my must thistle so shampoo bar. And I've used it on my hair. I do not have the quote unquote good hair. It, it tamed my hair quite nicely. This is just a very high super fat content. And I actually I use too much um, zinc oxide in it. So this is like the soap that I'm going to use for myself. But it bubbles up quite nicely. It took a really long time for it to harden up. What I'm I, I, I probably just rebatch this because I use too much zinc oxide in it. So those are not that's not for sale. But it it you don't have to put on lotion after you use it. This another soap just that I'm using here at home. I executed a hanger swirl. It's a cold process soap. This is activated charcoal. As is, this is activated charcoal. A hot, it's a very emollient soap. You can use my soaps for anything. This soap is super hard, super duper hard. And it won't melt away. Now this soap is not for sale either. But I just wanted to show the bubble, lather, and emollient qualities of the soap. This is my goat's milk and sea salt soap with a, a blue swirl, hot process. Look at that. This is what would be on your skin. 
smells nice, nice like fragrance, not flowery. Look how nice and thick this lather is. And goat's milk, um, it closes my pores. Goat's milk closes my pores. It makes my skin look smoother. This is the calendula petal, marigold petal, calendula petal, calendula petal sea salt soap. And it's very hard. This too is, is hot process. I cut the bars to make them last longer. It's just hand soap. Just imagine this on your skin in the shower or bath. Nice sea salt, calendula infused grapeseed oil with shea butter. I also put shea butter in it. And it just, it feels so good. The soap is so hard because of the salt content. So this would last a very long time. So I just wanted to show you a little demo of the soap and have the lathering abilities of the soap. Now I'm going to show you the 100% coconut oil soap again. And again, I'm just using a, a teaspoon, not even a teaspoon. See, look, it's just this little bit. This is a liquid soap made with another type of uh, lye. All my soap is, you have to have lye to make soap. It's lye plus fat plus water. That's what makes soap. I don't care what anybody else says. I can't tell you what's in a detergent bar that you buy from the store. I don't know. They don't have to list the ingredients and I don't know. But I make 100% coconut oil soap. That small amount. Just imagine this luxurious lather and foam on your skin in the bath or shower. It feels so good. This is unscented though. I can use it for anything. And I just have that little bit. And it rinses clean. Oh, feels good. And that's my demo. I just wanted to show how my soaps work. And even though I wash my hands like five times, four times, I make my own lotion too. This is grapeseed oil, green tea, and beeswax and, and soy wax or emulsifying wax. And I just seal the moisture in. You know? But, like I said, with 8-9% super fat, 8-9% super fat, you don't have to have a lotion. You, it, there's going to be a, a layer of oil, healthy oil, left on your skin. I'm just saying. These are the things that I make. Feel free to purchase from hotprocesssoap.blogspot.com or contact me on Facebook. Thanks.